Hey guys, Bryce here again at Calgary Barbell, the Strength Edge. Uh, I'm just going to talk a little bit about RPE today. So first and foremost, what is RPE? It stands for Rating of Perceived Exertion. Uh, it's a system that me and a lot of my lifters use predominantly uh, as opposed to percentages, sometimes in conjunction with percentages, to monitor the intensity levels of our training. So we use it as a reps left out of 10. Uh, is essentially how we, we would monitor our RPE. So if you could have done two more reps on a set, that's an RPE 8. If you could have done one more rep on a set, that's an RPE 9. Uh, the system was popularized in powerlifting by a guy named Mike Tashir, uh, who happens to also be my coach, so I've learned a lot from him about how to implement the system and uh, how to work with it. I think it's important to establish a base idea at least of what an RPE feels like as a beginner because it can help you start to get in tune with your body and how you'll react to training of varying intensities. I also find it very effective to use to find a working max on a given day and make sure that your training is where it should be. Why use RPE? Uh, there's a multitude of reasons. I find it's very important for making sure that you're not over or undershooting your percentages to make sure that your percentages are lining up with exactly where you are that day. Uh, it's again really effective to learn what heavy, moderate and light loads and sets feel like uh, and it can ensure that each, each session of training is purposeful in, okay, this was supposed to be a moderate day, this was supposed to be a heavy day. Sometimes the percentages don't necessarily line up with that because you come in feeling really good or really poorly and percentages don't necessarily adjust for those fluctuations in your performance from day to day. So how to use RPE? Uh, one of the ways, like I said, that we predominantly use it is doing a single at an 8 RPE to start your day off. You can do this in the competition lifts or you can do this in a variation, say a long pause bench or something like that. Either can be very useful to find a training max for that day and then you'll base your percentages for your subsequent work off of that. The other way we can use it is on sets of volume. So you can do four reps at an eight or four reps at a nine. And this is just a great way to adjust for, like I said, daily fluctuations in strength levels, being a little stronger, a little weaker, a little overfed, underfed, didn't have a good sleep, whatever. We can accommodate for that with RPE by monitoring how each set feels and how it moves. Personally, I like to record most sets. So I have a little bit of subjective and a little bit of objective in terms of finding that sort of midpoint to, to find out exactly what my RP is going to be for that set. You know, sometimes it might feel like a 9, but you watch the video and it looks like a 7, so I would call that set an 8. So one thing about RPE training is it can also be very complex. It's got a bit of a steep learning curve. It's kind of hard to explain. So let's go through an example of how to use RPE both to establish an estimated one rep max based off of work that you've already done, or to predict a working set based off of an established max. So in the first case, if I've already done the work set and I want to find my one rep max based off of that performance, what I'm going to do is in this example, uh, I squatted 220 kilos for one rep at an eight. So we're going to go through the chart and we're going to find out that one rep at an eight is roughly 92%. So what we're going to do is we're going to take 220 kilos, we're going to divide it by 0.92. That's going to give us our estimated one rep max based off of that work set so we can use that max to predict further workouts. So let's say we have a max and we're trying to predict what we should do for our single at an eight. What we're going to do then is we're going to go through the chart again. Again we're going to find that one rep at eight RPE is 92 percent. So we'll take our max and we'll times it by 0.92. This is going to give us our estimated working set based off of our max. A really important part about doing RPE effectively is ramp up sets. So let's say you want to do a set of four at 220 kilos and you want that to be a nine. What you're going to do before that is you're going to take 95% and 90% of your 220 kilos and you're going to perform two sets, one at 90% of 220, one at 95% of 220. And the idea is that we're going to go seven, eight, nine in terms of RPEs. The reason that's so important is because if you feel uh, your, your first ramp up is too light or too heavy, then you can adjust on your way up to make sure you hit the RPE you're going for. A lot of times if you just jump into it and you do one working set, then you're going to find you'll be over, you'll be under, you'll be a nine and a half or you'll be an eight, whatever. But if you do your ramp up sets properly and they feel like a seven, 
at 90%, an 8 at 95%, and a 9 at 100% of your goal weight. That'll give you a good indication of your progression for the day. Same thing for an RPE 8. Your 90% should feel like a 6, your 95% should feel like a 7, and your, not, or sorry, and your 100% of your goal weight should feel like an 8 RPE. So if your 95% feels like a 9, that's where you stop. If your 95% feels like uh, an 8, then you're right on track. If it feels like a 7, you know you can go up a little more than what you had planned, a little more than that 5% to get to your top weight, to get you to a 9 RPE.